you protest, you protest, you kneel, you yell, you scream, you pout, you shout, you stomp your feet, and where's it gotten you? Absolutely nowhere. Hi everyone, how's it going? So, I just had to make this video today. I was watching some videos on Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys, mixed quarterback, their, their quarterback, and he was talking about the national anthem thing and about the protests and how he doesn't feel that this is a time in which to do the protests for the national anthem, during the national anthem. And he got all this backlash, all these things about what he should have said and he should have didn't say this and didn't say that. And then I was reading the comments, right? And, and people calling him cool and Uncle Tom, you know, he's a sellout, all this other stuff. And it just, this response of someone, and I'm expound on it now and just lay it out there. If you want to call me an Uncle Tom, thank you. Thank you very much. I will take the title with pride. Because if you know your history, if you know the actual story of Uncle Tom, 150 years ago is actually a compliment to black people. Because Uncle Tom actually cared so much about his people in slavery that he was willing to risk everything, including his life, to better his people's lives. And he ended up losing his life in the pursuit of, of bettering, which he did, his fellow black people's lives. Oh, but somehow, because some black nationalist back in 1912, I can't remember his name. That's because he's not important to me doesn't need to be mentioned, you can look it up. But he goes and turns the the compliment around and made Uncle Tom a bad name. So the true Uncle Toms actually care for their community, actually are willing to do what it takes to further and to improve their community. Do you protesters know what that means? Do you, do Maxine Waters, do you actually know what that means, Mr. Uh, Black Lives Matter and all you guys, do you actually know what that means to do what it takes? No, you don't. Because what you do know is protests, disruption, protests, protests, injustice, injustice. Okay, now I'm going to go home and eat chicken. Got a football, you know, got a basketball game I got to get, get to. Oh, you mean, oh, 15 black people died in the last four days? Where's my chicken? A white man just killed a black dude? Protest, protest, protest. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. You protest, you protest, you kneel, you yell, you scream, you pout, you shout, you stomp your feet, and where has it gotten you? Absolutely nowhere. And why? Because you refuse to do anything else. Meek Mills was supposed to meet the President Trump to talk about prison reform, and he was going to go. But, oh, Mr. Big Bad Jay-Z, yo, Meek. Yes, Jay-Z. Don't you go meet the president. Okay, overlord. Until he doesn't go. How do you expect anything to change? Oh, and president asked for, for names of people who were wrongfully imprisoned from the NFL players. Nothing. How do you expect anything to change if you aren't willing, when if you can complain about something and you're going to protest and protest and protest, but then you aren't willing to sit down or at the table, or you aren't willing to, when a path opens, when someone opens the door, you're not willing to walk through that door because you don't like them, because you don't like their pol you don't like their what, political stance. If they if they didn't want to do anything, they would have kept the door shut. They didn't need to open the door. And I think I remember history. Um, it took a white president to abolish slavery. So if they did that, but then wait, so then Martin Luther King marched, and then he, oh, what, 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 he sat at the table? Did he really? Wait, no, 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 I think he's still protesting, right? No, wait, no. They actually discussed, and what happened? Another white president, and a major, you know, all these Republicans, and some Democrats, who were majority, all these people were white, signed in the Civil Rights Act, both which benefited black people. But white people hate us, right? Right? All this injustice because the black man, you know, we can't do anything for ourselves. You know, just leave it to, to uh, Anne Hathaway. 
Anne Hathaway, I think, is her name. See, I don't even remember people's names because if you if you're not really important in my head, I don't even take the time to remember your name. So this actress talking about this lady who was uh, gruesome, gruesomely murdered in Oakland, I think it was. Black lady that all black people should fear for their lives. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate your heartfelt concern for us black people. We, we, we really don't know how to do anything for ourselves. We really need help because we just, we don't, we can't do anything for ourselves. You know, the white man's always keeping us down. So you know the white man, so you can go talk to the white man and tell him that, that he needs to give us a break, you know? I mean, we'll, we can continue to kill each, our, our, ourselves over here, but you go talk to the white man and tell us to give us a break because we can't do anything, you know? Um, we're stuck here in this country, you know? We, 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 we're just forced to stay here in this worst condition. So please, please tell them, tell us of our plight that we're poor and uneducated and unable to do anything for ourselves. So we need you to tell us, Master, what to do. Black people have been voting Democrat for the last 40 years, you know, or more. Democrat, Democrat, voting the same people, people who are supposed to represent you. They tell you, they get you all emotional, get you all riled up, get you all fired up. And then they go back to their multi-million dollar homes and say, boy, get back down in the gutter. Get, you No, you don't get none of this. Get back down in the gutter. I'll call you when I need you. But you okay with that. But but I, I but me and other black conservatives, we're Uncle Tom's because we actually want to do things for ourselves, take responsibility. Say I'm not I'm not I'm not going to be swayed by the word racist all the time or get all up in arms because some person disrespected my my race or, or who I am because my blackness is the only thing that's important to me. But I'm an Uncle Tom because I because I would sit at the table, with President Trump say, hey, you know, maybe we can try this. You know, maybe I would go down to the police station and say, you know, maybe we could. See about this and help w interacting with the with the black culture. Maybe maybe you could guys could try this. And maybe as a culture, you know, in my community, I'll go to my community and say, hey guys, maybe we can try this. Get a better relationship with police. No, I'm Uncle Tom though. You know, I, I I'm I'm a I'm a sellout. Okay, because I actually want to sit at the table while you sit at home eating fried chicken, collecting welfare. But you, you had a drop of hat, you out there protesting. Injustice, injustice, injustice. And when they're done with you, they tell you, get back in your corner. Get, go crawl down that hole. Don't you ever come out? But we're, we're, we're the Uncle Toms. Thank you for the compliment. If you like what you heard, saw everything today, please like, share, subscribe. Appreciate that. And this is Savvy Ninja. And until next time, I will leave you with this.